Okay, let's talk about subtracting integers with um, the number line. So if I have a negative 6 minus uh, 8, for example, I'm going to start at negative 6, and then I'm going to subtract 8, which means I'm going to go in a negative direction, 8 spaces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. My answer is negative 14. Now, the other thing that you can do here is you can go ahead and turn this into an addition problem, negative 6 plus, and then change the sign on the 8 from positive to negative. And it works the same way. You start at negative 6, and because 8 is negative, you're going to go in the negative direction, and you still will land on negative 14, and the answer is still negative 14. It's just whichever way makes more sense to you. So let's try um, another one. Um, let's say if you had 7 minus 12. Okay, so I'm going to start at 7, and then because I'm subtracting, I'm going in a negative direction, 12 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. My answer is negative 5. And if I um, decided to change that to be an addition problem, it would be 7, change the subtraction to addition, change the sign on the 12 to a negative. And again, you would start at 7, and because 12 is negative, you're going to go in a negative direction, <clears throat> 12 spaces, and you're still going to land in the exact same space, negative 5. So the only other one that we haven't done is if they're both negative, So if you have a problem like negative 8 minus a negative 5, what you need to remember is that when you have this subtraction and a negative sign, what it's really saying to you is the opposite of negative 5 because the subtraction sign can also say the opposite. So this means negative 8 and then the opposite of negative 5. Well, the opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. And then I just follow addition rules. I'm going to start at negative 8, and then because I'm adding positive 5, I'm going to go in a positive direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces, and my answer is negative 3. And that's how you um, subtract